discovery of this new genus and species of duck-billed dinosaur provides us with a remarkable opportunity to virtually restore a previously undescribed hadrosauroid specimen. This, in turn, will allow us for the first time to visualize in detail one of the most probable hypotheses regarding hadrosauroid chewing biomechanics. The virtual reconstruction of undescribed hadrosauroid is optimized to correct physical distortion and yield a more ideal and perfect model with which to visualize the pleurokinetic model for hadrosauroid mastication. Four main components of the skull are mobilized during mastication. The maxilla jugal unit, the dentary predentary unit, the quadratojugal bone, and the quadrate bone. These mobile components articulate at three primary sites in the hadrosauroid skull. The quadrate rotates at the quadrate squamosal joint, the dentary predentary unit rotates at the quadrate mandible joint, and the maxilla jugal unit rotates at the maxilla premaxilla joint. The primary muscles of mastication are divided into two groups, the depressor mandibulae group and the adductor mandibulae group. Following descriptions from Ostrom and Weishampel, some of the key muscles of these two groups were reconstructed on the undescribed hadrosauroid skull. The depressor mandibulae muscle functioned to open the jaw, while the adductor mandibulae externus muscles, represented here by superficialis, the adductor mandibulae internus muscles, represented here by pseudotemporalis, and the adductor mandibulae posterior, all contributed to closing the jaw through adduction of the dentary bones. Familiarity with important osteologic and myologic features of the model facilitates understanding this unique mastication cycle. As the depressor muscles contract, the jaw is opened. In contrast, contraction of the adductor muscles return the jaw to its closed position, bringing the maxillary and dentary teeth into occlusion. As the jaw continues to be adducted vertically, the maxilla jugal units are forced to rotate laterally resulting in the grinding of the lower and upper teeth across the entirety of their occlusal surfaces. A cross-section clarifies the stages of the mastication cycle. In the open stroke, the lower jaw is depressed and the maxilla jugal units begin rotating medially toward their original position. In the closed stroke, the lower jaw is adducted vertically, bringing the dentary teeth into initial contact with the maxillary teeth. Concomitant with the continued adduction of the lower jaw is a unique transverse power stroke, in this stage, the maxilla jugal units are forced to rotate laterally as the lower jaw continues to be adducted. Finally, this virtual model also provides a unique view difficult to achieve with a physical model. From inside the mouth of the dinosaur, the dynamic nature of the pleurokinetic model for mastication can be further appreciated, allowing us an inside look at an otherwise difficult to visualize process.